for once one of those AMC mystery movies did not bite me in the ass. Feels good. Hello to my YouTubers, subscribers. Hope you guys are having a great Monday night and hope you guys have a good rest of the week because we got a brand new horror movie that's coming out very soon and that movie is called Sting. The first and newest Spider movie, not starring Spider-Man, a spider horror movie that's coming out actually April 12th, a few weeks from now. Got a chance to see it early at one of those mystery AMC screenings that they'd be having and shit. Took a chance to go see it and was a good clips movie. It's like an old school 90s type of movie as far as the premise goes, but you know what? I appreciate it. I wound myself driving back home and I was just like, it's been a long time since we've seen like any type of like monster movie involving a spider and shit eating folks. And that novelty, you know what? It's kind of refreshing to see. Take away from this whole movie with the fact that it's one of those movies that you can like watch on Hulu or something or on Shudder. Just kind of be like, okay, it's a spider movie. Let's see what it's about. Like a nice hour, 30 minutes worth. And just like, you know what? I got my, I got my fill. I will say this. If you like hate spiders, like if you hate anything with eight legs and shit, this movie ain't for you. This movie will get under your skin. So just... Just know what you know. That being said, I'm going to post because I believe that Sting is officially in theaters, oh, what, Friday, April 12th. So that's like two weeks from now. So if this is on your radar to want to see what it's about, then here's what you didn't know about the movie. First of all, adding the movie, I don't know. I don't know. None of the actors. Now, there was one dude. Can't think of his name. But the black dude. He was in it. Before the main characters go, like I said, we got our girl. Her name is Charlotte. Yeah, I know. Let's get those Charlotte Webb jokes out of the way now. But I thought that she was pretty functional in the movie like that. Like I said, there was an emotional scene that she, like, had to, like, really hammer home because it involved her and her dad. And they were having, like, some real, like, real harsh back and forth remark. Kind of remarks that's kind of like, yeah, those are the things that you think, but you don't say out loud. And he said out loud. And she said out loud. It was just like, oh, that's a... That's a very uncomfortable scene. But she did make it work. So yeah, the, she was good in that. While the other characters move to go, they're just spider fodder. So yeah, our main chick who were following the movie, little girl, Charlotte. She was cool. I liked her. I was on her side. So I, I liked her. The plot movie is so simple. More or less, you got Charlotte. Like I said, she's living with her family, stuff like that, in this apartment with a bunch of other tenants. And then one day she comes across this black widow spider and she befriends it and stuff like that. She starts feeding her roaches until it starts eating parrots and cats. And then eventually the humans. And it just grows and grows and grows. So now pretty much, yeah, this spider's about to kill everybody in this house. And it's up to Charlotte. Does Dauber. And that's the movie, a spider movie. Run pocket. First movie, like I said, as far as the scares go, a horror movie. How are the scares? I think the scares were pretty effective. Like I said, for the people who just like, I just can't do spider. I can't do them at all. Like I said, it's really important to movie when the movie, like once we knew what the movie was, two people just pieced out. They was like, I, I can't do that. I can't do it. No. Like I said, if you like have a phobia of insects and spiders, this, this movie does sound like effective because there's like a lot of moments where it's like your sh long shots of the vents and stuff like that and you know shots of like oh the spider might be behind somebody or something but the spider just gets people and snatches them up web them up shit that was like yeah this is like some old school 90s horror shit i like that it was a movie go like i said this movie does surprisingly have a high body count well, like yeah a lot of people died i will also say that the movie is sort of a comedy too it's kind of like a dark comedy where it's not like like full like oh yeah like this is like like a fucking scary movie or something. It's like a comedy, dark comedy movie in the sense it's like somebody would say something, but it kind of be like what we would say in the situations. So you kind of laugh at that. So I thought it was pretty cool. Because like I said about the movie, the fact that I wish the spider got as big as I thought it was going to be. Because my only spider reference is like eight legged freaks from way back when. Those spiders like the size of like freaking Hummers and shit. So the spiders never got, the spider never got that big. But so it's kind of just like, oh, I wish it were bigger. But if it was bigger, then it would just take over the whole apartment complex. And then we have a whole other movie. At the end of the day, Sting was a horror movie that I felt like it was a pretty effective old school 90s cheesy spider movie. But it really was a, a good time. Like I said, it's really right in the pocket. It's a movie that do you have to see in the theaters? Probably not. But it's a movie that's like, oh, if it just happens to be streaming on Hulu or Shutter, check it out. I think you have a good time with it with that. That being said, I think I'll easily say that I think that Sting is definitely a very safe 6 out of 10, which is a pretty good movie if you Netflix it. Sting is officially in theaters uh, Friday, April 12th. You're going to see it. You're not going to see it. You want to see it, type below. Let me know. Talk about it. And I'll see you guys for the next movie. And as always, subscribe. Until next time.